Hello everybody, it's DJ Time from AGIProDJ.com. We're taking a look at the Pioneer CDJ850, um, CD player, media player, and now Serato Scratch Live native controller. With the announcement of Scratch Live version 2.3, the CDJ850 is now a native controller. What native mode means is you connect a USB cable to this CD player, and you hook it up to your computer, and you can now control Serato Scratch Live without a control CD in there anymore. Not necessary anymore. Uh, so what does this give you in regards to support with Scratch Live? Um, there's a ton of stuff that you can do with a native controller that you couldn't do before with time code without going to the computer or using a little external controller like the Denon HC1000 or the, the Novation Dicers. This still comes in really handy because the CDJ50 doesn't have two points. What it's done is it's taken the auto B looping and it's mapped that to um, to auto looping or auto BPM loops. So I just pressed it for eight, and you can see it's counted at an eight count. Go down to four, two. So those are all natively mapped. You would have actually had to done that with an external controller or with the keyboard or mouse before, and it's now right there available on the player. You also have the ability to browse through and load tracks by turning this knob goes through your playlist. And then when you push the button or the knob in, it loads the track to the Serato Scratch Live software. Um, gives you time elapsed and time remaining is all a two directional street. Um, that's actually feeding what's coming out of the software. The BPM is pushed from the software as well. Uh, I can press time mode and now it's showing me time elapsed. So really cool stuff. Again, the when you do a loop in and out or a loop in and out, it's actually drawing it on your screen. Now what's nice when you have an extra controller like the HC1000 along with this kind of native controller that doesn't have the Q controls like the CDJ2000 has, is either using a Novation Dicer or what I've got hooked up here is a Denon HC1000S. Yes, I can go through and I can load tracks uh, from there as well. But since I don't have Q control on the CDJ850, that's what the 1000S gives you. And I've actually used this to set some Q points. So you do have the looping controls coupled with the Q point controls, uh, track loading controls, and then of course, you know, vinyl transport from the CDJ850 really brings the 850 into focus as far as the Serato Scratch Live controller. Again, it's been really overlooked. Um, it's been a slow mover as far as CDJ sales are concerned, but I really think with the Serato Scratch Live support, this player is gonna come on fire. Uh, for less than $900, you can get something that's natively supported by Serato Scratch Live. Add on an extra controller for 100 bucks or $150, and you've got yourself a full-blown CDJ2000 capabilities for way less than $1,900. So find your CDJ850 with Serato Scratch Live support. Two thumbs up for that. Way to go, Pioneer and Serato. Thanks for checking it out today. I'm DJ Ty from AGIProDJ.com.